everybody wants this number to go up right um but sir what if your liability has grown not your um owner's equity we are basing our analysis just based on assets right every company or every type of business they want their assets greatest possible number whatsoever so you heard the you know the worth of the apple company is more than 1 trillion dollar because their assets values are more than 1 trillion dollar everybody is now trying to make this number big and big and big and big and big if we base our analysis just on assets then it is good right so would you say it's still good if it goes down but because of short term investments like short term investments increase a lot and because of that total assets go down in the current year no well, that's still big in the the short term investment go go down zero this is to no, but right this. but i'm saying if if it increased by like i don't know 5 500 right so that would cause it, the total assets to go down would you still say it's good then it will it will be like 79 79 like 7932 it will be more it would be very good no my i was thinking of something else never mind because all these are plus signs right no negative sign is here all are plus signs so whatever you invest whether you have a more other assets it will increase your ultimate total assets it's good right unless now here is the mm -hmm. big point for you guys Sorry, I I just don't get one thing. Yes. You said assets. The formula for assets is liabilities plus owner's equity. And yes. here, you are not considering liabilities. Okay, let me repeat one more time. We are basing our discussion right now only on the basis of assets. i ask you the question based on just these two numbers whether we are doing good or bad only by looking over at the assets right we didn't talk about liabilities we didn't talk about right now the owner's equity understand and then we talk about it's good right okay we will be having our you know final judgment after looking at liabilities and owner's equity but just on the basis of asset if we have if we don't have any other information then we can say it's good right sibade right yeah okay. now another very tasty dose to you guys inventory what does it mean inventory the stock that you have it already right the yeah. one you produce already you left that that is the leftover item that you didn't sell right mm. it is not leftover these are just you make the goods but that didn't sell and the year is ended right look at that the worth which means one Point six billion dollar worth of things are still in your warehouse in two thousand eleven, and in two thousand eleven, it just decreases to just five million. Right? It's a huge amount, and this business is fashionable business. Fashion can go very quickly, right? Girls know better. because boys only have one option jeans and any kind of jeans they can wear but when it comes to fashion a lady knows the best right look at that millions It means 1.62 billion dollar worth of inventory still in their warehouse it 
do they have a chance for obsolete, obsolete or damages? Answer is yes. Now, when comparing, when you're answering the question, well, like I told you, these are just not numbers. They will give you very meaningful information, like too much information. Right? Here we go. So you say more the assets, companies doing good. But maybe the company is not doing good. Why? Look at their business, clothing industry. And 1.615 in this period, 2012, still not sold. It's a huge amount, $1.615 billion or one thousand. Six hundred and fifteen million dollars worth of clothes are not sold. What do you think so? Next year they can sell it. Maybe the fashion changes. What will happen then? Maybe this become fifty percent, only eight eight hundred million. And in that case, you can say that depending on the nature of the business, you can say that. The business is doing good, but we have a reservation on their inventory because maybe their marketing department is not good. They are not doing well, right? Or maybe the factory workers, they are producing too much that the marketing department, they cannot sell. And then they have to, you know, uh, Offer different kind of discounts. Buy two get two. Buy one get one free, or buy one get two free. This kind of offers, right? And that also gonna cost company. So it looks good, or maybe this number is camouflaged. They keep it with their inventory. They are not selling. Why? Because they want this number to go high. Because when this number is high, total asset number is high. And if we don't know this concept right now here when we are not vigilant we just basis our analysis here assets are high this company is very good i want to buy gap incorporation shares as much as i can but if you are a shrewd investor right you find out this point the company is you know it's taking 16 1.66 6 billion dollar and it's not getting rid of its inventory what about the obsolescence? What about the fashion changes? Maybe it's not selling because they want this number as high as possible. No wear and tear, no damages, like obsolescence, whatsoever. They want this number high so that the total asset number is high. Right? Now my analysis is a little fishy. I can say 50-50. Unless I see liabilities and honor as equity. Understand? Everybody? Sir, I have a question. Yes. So in the category of merchandise inventory, like was it also um so the cost for the warehouse is in that category or is it in the, the cost of the warehouse is is your expense that will go to income not the balance sheet unless you prepay rent in advance. Okay. Right? Right. And now let's talk about the liabilities. So liabilities, we also you know segregate liabilities into current liabilities and long-term liabilities. Current liabilities, the definitions are the same. These are the liabilities that are going to be paid within one year or equal to one year, right? These are accounts payable. Accounts payable, they are our amounts that we need to pay to our suppliers. Those who supply us raw material or give us, you know, the raw material and we convert them into finished goods, or if we are merchandisers, traders, those who provide our goods that are our suppliers or vendors, right? We purchase goods and we sell goods. We purchase goods, but we didn't pay them yet. We will pay them after some day. Some days, like 10 days, 15 days, 30 days, 90 days. But we have to pay them. That's why this become our liability so 
these are our suppliers. And then income tax payable, so tax that owed to the government, like we sell the goods or we, you know, salaries, we cut the taxes, income taxes, and then that tax belonged to government, we didn't pay yet. We will pay them after some day. For example, they said every 15 March, every company they have to pay clear their income taxes. But you are making this balance sheet on 31st of December. So this income belongs to government and you will pay them on 15 March next year. So that is your liability. Here we go. Accrued expenses. What does it mean? Expense occurred, but not paid, right? Accrued expenses include other liabilities such as interest payable on borrowed money, salaries, other expenses. Sim similarly, expense occurred, not paid. So the workers, they work for you the whole month and now you have to pay them salary. You pay the salary on 31st of every month, but you are making balance sheet on 15th of the month. Right? So 15 days they have worked for you. So that 15 day salaries is payable. You didn't pay yet, you will pay on 31st of the month. But the amount that you, right now you are here, the amount that you owe to them accrued. Or the maintenance or, for example, whitewash of the building. We said that when project is complete, then you will pay them. So expense occurred, they whitewash your building. And now they are waiting for your payments. You will pay them later, right? You have an agreement that you will pay them after a, after one month 